Your Country 1039, KGRT, Luke Holmes, and going, going, gone. It is that time. It is question of the daytime right now. And uh, for those of you that are uh, watching online, yeah, I know it's it's one of those things. The computer is still messing up. The other computer should be in sometime today, and uh, hopefully we'll get all that fixed. But for now, hey, you're on my phone. I can still see your comments and everything, though, so make sure that you make your comments on there. But right now, we are into our Christmas week questions of the day. And we all know that Christmas movies are full of holiday cliches, you know, especially you're watching all those uh, holiday Lifetime and Hallmark movies. Lots of uh, baking cookies and making gingerbread houses, picking out that perfect Christmas tree, caroling, ice skating, snowball fights and kissing under the mistletoe, you know, all of those great Christmas traditions. But how many of those Christmas traditions do we actually take part in? Hmm? I know, I, you know, I tried to take part in the kissing under the mistletoe. Apparently, you have to tell them that they're under the mistletoe before you try and kiss them. I learned that one the hard way. But yeah, uh, how many of these uh, holiday traditions do you take part in? Is it all of them, some of them, or none of them? You know, personally, I am all for the uh, Christmas tradition of just eating tamales holiday season all, all all throughout the season, all the way. I, I might even go get a dozen before I get out of here on Thursday. But, yeah, it is one of those things. With all of these Christmas traditions that are out there, how many do you take part in? All, some, or none? That is our question of the day. Or do you have a favorite Christmas tradition that you uh, like to take part in? That's a good question, too. So go ahead and let me know your answers to our question of the day. 575-523-KGRT is the number to go ahead and call them in or text them in on our Zia Comics hotline or text line. Once again, that's 575-523-5478. And as always online, since we are live on our YouTube, Facebook, and uh, Twitter pages, you can go ahead and leave a comment for our question of the day, which is how many Christmas traditions do you take part in? All of them? Some of them? or none? Hmm, I am curious. That is our question of the day. And uh, since I am on my phone, I don't even need my headphones for this one because, you know, normally going through the computer. But anyway, I don't even need that. So that is our question of the day for today. You know, lots of great Christmas traditions out there. We see a lot of them, especially when we come and watch all of those Hallmark movies or anything else. <laughs> Somebody just texted, I'm a Scrooge. I I partake in that. Or I don't partake in that. Is that what a Scrooge does? Hmm. Let me pull that one down to take a closer look. I'm a Scrooge. I partake in that. Okay. Or... No, 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 no. Well, you know, Scroo Scrooges are part of a Christmas tradition. I would I would count that as a, Christ a Christmas tradition. So, yeah, that, that one works right there for sure. But uh, how many of these Christmas uh, traditions do you take part in? Do you leave uh, milk and cookies out for Santa? Do you have a tradition where maybe somebody gets to open up one gift on Christmas Eve? I know a lot of people do that. Um, I came from a kind of a split family. So, for me, Christmas was always really cool because I would go to – with my dad, we would head to my grandma's place and uh, a couple of places on Christmas Eve and open up toys there, wake up Christmas morning, open up uh, our gifts at my dad's house. And then later on that morning, head over to my mom's house and then open up gifts there and then head to my uncle's place and a few other places like that. It was always uh, a really, really cool time that I remember. In fact, a lot of those days when my mom taught me to drive because traffic, you know, was kind of light on those days for whatever reason. But let's go ahead and uh, take a look at what is going on in and around the world as far as uh, for uh, today. Uh, let's see. Uh, I think TMZ says a 260,000-gallon tank at Sea Life Aquarium in Berlin was recently destroyed. The 46-foot tank exploded, spilling its contents onto the people below. Uh, the patrons escaped with only minor cuts. All of the fish, of course, unfortunately, did not make it. The police are still investigating what caused the tank to burst. Oh, that's weird. Uh, Fox News says Miss Wisconsin Gracie Stang has been crowned Miss America 2023. Grace won the $50,000 scholarship. She also took home $2,500 after winning the Miss America Talent Scholarship with her classical violin performance. So congratulations to Grace. Also saw that uh, People Magazine says 
that a customer recently has discovered a, that Panera's Mango Yuzu Citrus Charged Lemonade contains 260 milligrams of caffeine. By comparison, an espresso cane si contains 63 milligrams of caffeine. So, wow. I guess if you're looking for a caffeine and a sugar rush, maybe, that would work out. i to find out where I can grab me one of those. But, uh, yeah, and, of course, I mentioned this earlier at the box office. Avatar, The Way of the Water, was number one at the box office. $134 million for this weekend. Overall, worldwide, I think it did about $300.5 million, and it cost $460 million to make. So I think they're going to make their money back. I have a feeling that that could be the case. Uh, but I haven't heard any news as far as how good it is, how bad it is. I've heard some reviews, but never the, like, is it worth it to see it? Just talking about technical stuff and Easter eggs and stuff like that. You know how that goes. But, uh, yeah. So I don't know if anybody's going to see that one. I'm, eh, maybe if I get bored and I've got three hours. It's a three-hour long movie. Three hours to kill. I might go check that out. But go ahead. Uh, once again, let us know your answers to our question of the day. And uh, that is, how many Christmas traditions do you actually take part in? All, some, or none? And is there a favorite? Like I said, you know, picking out and uh, cutting your own tree, um, leaving the milk and cookies out for Santa is uh, definitely one of them. Mistletoe? Does anybody do mistletoe anymore? Or is that just too dangerous? <laughs> it could be a little bit on the dangerous side. Snowball fights, maybe. Ice skating. I guess that depends on where you are. Does anybody go out caroling anymore? I'm curious, how many of these Christmas traditions do you actually take part in? All, some, or none? Let me know your answers to our question of 